So now that I've finished the Cerakote training, Jeremiah that brought me out from SEMA to Cerakote to be trained here is showing me some of their new products for automotive use. So we have a headlight restoration kit, also a black trim restorer, and we have this glass coating. They're also coming out with a new paint correction, kind of like a clear revival. Nolan is going to be showing us how to do the process on all of these kits. And Jeremiah right here, I met him at SEMA. It was a great deal. We went out last night, had some fun, and it's been a great experience coming out here. Thanks for coming out, Dave. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. So let's get to work on this. Oxidation remover, trying to limit the amount of work we have to do in sanding. So we're going to let the chemical do a little bit of the heavy lifting on the oxidation removal. It's not going to get everything off, uh, but it'll uh, make the sanding process much, much faster. As you can see that it starts to pick up the oxygen there and it starts to turn to yellow. Uh, and we're going to do this uh, a, total of, well, a total of four wipes on this headlight. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll gradually see these uh, towels start to get cleaner and cleaner. Uh, the last towel might still show some oxidation on it, but uh, that's okay. We'll pick up the rest of that with the sanding process. As soon as we finish this step, we're going to go right into a wet rinse. Um, ideally, you do that with like an open flow, like a garden hose, but since we're inside, we'll rinse really well with the squirt bottle. Off the light. You see it kind of run down, and it's still kind of yellow. 2000 grit sandpaper, it's the red disc. It's going to do the heavy lifting on the abrasion side, get a lot of the imperfections out of the headlights. We're going to wet really well. We're going to wet our sandpaper as well. And what we want to see here is we want to see the ending portion start to bring off some of the yellow and it's going to look um, foggy here as we start to sand. That's a good thing because we're getting into polycarbonate. Um, and as we do this, we're going to start to see this clean up a little bit. So it's going to go from a, a white hazy yellow into a, a nice clean white look. One thing that's really important with the sanding step, if you don't tape off, uh, which you don't need to do, is you can always take these discs off, uh, fold them up, and you can get onto these edges really cleanly without getting into your paint. So we, we do want to make sure that we get these corners sanded really well. I don't know if you can hear the difference there, but I can feel it. It's definitely grabbing something right there, so we want to make sure that we uh, continue to sand that until it's smooth. This time when we sand, we're going to try to keep nice straight lines. And it's just going to help us a little bit more when we move to our 3000 grit paper. Sand those lines, uh, sink them sanded out. Rinse really well. We're seeing this cloudiness from the uh, sanding. Um, we're going to eliminate some of that with our second step. We're going to move to the 3000 grit gray pad now for the second step of the sanding process. Uh, and really what we're doing here is we're, we're sanding out some of our 2000 grit scratches. So we don't expect to see as much uh, white haziness or milkiness running off. We're just not lifting as much material. Ceramic coating is not compatible with water, so we're going to do a really good job drying this. We're going to get into the cracks, get all of this dry, uh, because when we do hit the uh, headlight with our, our final step through ceramic wipe, uh, we do not want to come in contact with any water. So we'll start by just giving it a, a good wipe down, making sure it's, it's, it's nice and dry. Uh, if you have access to compressed air, it's good to, uh, to blow air up into these channels just to push all the, all the moisture out. Um, if you've got time, you can also just let it sit and, uh, and air dry this, no problem. Now we're ready for the money wipe, which is our step three ceramic. There's two of them in this packet, one for each side. So we're going to open this up and uh, take out our two wipes. Uh, remove the one that we're going to save for our other headlight and set it off to the side. A couple of uh, really important things when you're using this wipe. Uh, one, you do want to make sure you stay off the paint. If you do get on the paint, uh, immediately wipe it with a, a clean, dry microfiber towel. Uh, the other uh, important thing with this step is that you only want to coat it one time. Um, the coating cures really fast, and if you hit it a second time, even though you may have enough moisture on your towelette, uh, the coating can tend to be streaky and, and not come out the way that you want it. We're going to start up at the top, and we're going to work our way down. the bottom and just work our way back up. You want about 50% overlaps on this uh, and that's just to make sure that you get 100% uh, coating uh, in all of the uh, the lens. And just work your way in and out. Get this in real quick. Come back across there. These headlights went from 
needing to replace the canoe again. Last cleaning and prep preparation wipe. Uh, you see it'll go on fairly sudsy. We just want to work this uh, solution into all of the glass imperfections out of the micro pitting and scoring that might be in your glass. That could be dirt, road grime, particulates from your windshield wipe that can get stuck in those. So we just want to make sure that we get our glass really, really squeaky clean uh, before we go to the ceramic coating side. Ceramic coating, long lasting coating. So anything that you don't get out, uh, you're going to seal in and, and not be able to get to very easily to, to repair it. So, um, as with most things with coating operation, it's key to a good final result. We want to rinse it off really, really well. Uh, so normally we do that with an open hose. Dry this off really well. Um, again, if you have access to compressed air, it's really good to get inside the channels and the gutters of the, of the window and the windshield, uh, just to make sure all of that moisture is free. It's ready for some coating. Uh, so. In this kit, we're in, we include a 30 milliliter bottle of coating. It's more than enough coating to do your entire windshield. See that it's got a, uh, a reducer inside of there to help the uh, flow come out of the bottle so you don't waste any material. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to apply this to this uh, microfiber applicator uh, to the point where we have most saturation across the top. We're going to go onto the windshield and what we call a cross hatch pattern, which means that we're going to go up and down uh, and then we're going to turn around and we're going to go vertical the, the other direction. So. We'll start right here in the middle and you can see it wet out really nicely and then we're going to continue with a 50% overlaps on each pass um, to ensure that we've got full coverage here and you can see the uh, coating go on it looks wet it looks uh, glossy and we're going to continue this pattern all the way back to the edge turn around we're going to cut some of these uh, sharp edges in uh, trying to stay off the plastic all the way over to the edge and then we're going to work our way back up the window again in that uh, finishing cross hatch pattern to make sure we've got full coverage once this coating is applied and all, all the way on we're going to want to start a timer uh, and let this uh, cure for about five to ten minutes uh, you will see some rainbowing effect in the coating that's normal um, and that's going to come off when we uh, do our final step which is the uh, coating buff portion that rainbow look of it is how we know that the coating is flashed off and it's ready oh yeah there we go we're just going to use our standard microfiber towel that's included in the kit and uh, we're going to buff uh, this coating off and uh, this Keep working it until the uh, glass gets really clear, all the rainbows are, are out. It comes off really easy, it's not sticky, it's not grabby. Um, so just kind of feel your way around look for, uh, for any uh, remaining uh, streaks or uh, rainbowing that might be left and once you have all of that then uh, you're good to let the, let the coating finish curing. In our uh, ceramic trim coat product was designed to cure your unpainted plastic trim. The vehicle that we're working with it doesn't have a ton of it but this, uh, this uh, plastic piece around the uh, side view mirrors is a really good opportunity. We also have some plastic around the edge that we can hit too. It includes 10 wipes which is more than enough to do just about any vehicle. An example, this entire car would probably use two wipes at the most. This will get you through an avalanche if you have one. Again, keeping with the uh, wipe theme, uh, we've got the uh, uh, pre-saturated wipe here, ceramic trim coat. Um, Packaged in a in a nice um, towelette here. This is a, a pre-moistened towel with the uh, ceramic coating on it. Um, I like to leave it folded up so you can get your hard edges there. Um, and we're just going to start here, and we're going to work our way down the uh, the edge, uh, trying to stay off the paint again. If you do get on the paint, it's not a big deal. You just want to stop and uh, uh, wipe it off with a clean uh, dry microfiber. dries it mats back out. It does, yeah. So it is going to add a little bit of gloss to this uh, just in the restoration process. But not an unnatural amount.
flip a car, just <laughs> the rear tail light. Do you have something that? What, what about it? There's no lens. <laughs> oh, there's no. <laughs> we could do this. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, oh, that's funny. I didn't even... Lens restore. Yeah. <laughs> that's so clear, you can't even see it. <laughs> I'm still working off of my same white. Um, see, I got some coating right there on that piece, so we're going to want to grab the microfiber and get that off just because it's possible. Ceramic paint coating. The bottle here is, is a true ceramic. I'm gonna put it on corrected paint, uh, which means we've cut, um, buffed, and polished the paint. It's in really good shape. This applies with the microfiber. It's buffed off after it cures. This coating is a waterborne coating. Really easy to apply. It can go right on your vehicle after you've washed it in the car wash. It's gonna increase gloss. Depth of image is gonna get better. It's gonna cover up some of the micro scratches from the car wash. Uh, but most importantly, it's gonna bead and sheet water like crazy. So water spotting after applying, it's gonna go way down. Similar to our windshield coatings, this is gonna go into a microfiber applicator like this. Again, this is uh, designed to go over corrected paint. Start on the edge and just work our way down the, uh, the line here. And then work our uh, way across the hood as we go. Applying a nice even coating of the ceramic. Yeah. Same uh, process, we're going to cross hatch it just to make sure we've got even coverage. Goes on really easy, uh, glides across the paint nicely. The, uh, the biggest uh, investment in this process is actually uh, correcting your paint to the level that you want it for an application. We're gonna start about a five minute timer on that. You'll see it rainbow off like we did the glass. Uh, buff this rainbow off just like we did on the glass, and you can you can see as it starts to uh, pick up on the microfiber that the, the, the paint is just getting extremely glossy. Uh, the rainbows are going away. That haziness that was from the coating is gone, uh, and this is really effortless. Like I'm not pushing hard or, or uh, down hard or scrubbing. I'm just running the microfiber over the paint. Hit it with our rapid ceramic. This side of the hood has not been prepared. Uh, it's only been washed. Is it okay? There's water. Um, it's a oh, still water. Okay. So uh, unlike the rest of our coatings, uh, this coating is water-based, so it's fine to go over water if you have a little water on your paint after you've uh, driven through the car wash. You can see it started to haze out a little bit. It's, it's not going to rainbow like your other coatings do, and, and there's no time required for cure. So we're just going to jump right back in after we've uh, wiped it on and uh, keep uh, polishing it until it. Uh, until it goes uh, nice and shiny again. Quick, really easy. Um, and you can run your hand across it. The section here is not coated, uh, and this will get a, a little bit smoother, but you can definitely feel that line. It's finished the headlight correction, the black trim correction, the paint correction, as well as ceramic coating. There was a water based, and then the ceramic coating that he had, and the windshield coating. So. As you can see, it really brings back that black plastic look as well as the windshield, which we can't test right now because it beats water very, very well. He showed me some videos. It worked, seemed like it worked very, very well. The headlights, I mean, from what they were before to how they look now, it's really, really clean. I mean, if you're trying to flip a car and you want to redo the headlights, it's a very simple process. Most of the oxidation got wiped off with those rags. And then the ceramic coating, this was already buffed on this side, but you can see how much clearer the paint is compared to the center where the light is very hazy and then it's more clear. And then this side is with the water-based where you just spray it on and wipe it off. It's pretty awesome being able to go to Cerakote and them showing me a bunch of their new products. I'm pretty excited about the black trim restoration kit because I have a lot of cars that have that black trim. They sent me home with a few of those kits as well as a few of the headlight restoration kits. So I really, really need to do the Challenger, which is gonna probably be its own video. 
because there's a lot of black plastic on it. So the car's a 2018, I rebuilt it I think two years ago. The grill or that upper part on the grill, the lower lip is already starting to fade as well as the rocker and the rear bumper. Pretty much all the plastic on this thing isn't horrible, but it definitely could use that that coating on there, which is a ceramic, so it should protect it. But as you can see, it's kind of graying out and the charger, this stuff hasn't been outside really much, how much blacker it is. So look at that, gray, black. So what I wanna do is I want to do the challenger and I wanna do the charger as a preventative thing. So the black plastic doesn't start to fade once I start driving it around and going into the weather and, and stuff like that. So I wanna do it as a preventative thing on the charger, kind of a you know, preventative slash stop the, uh, the graying and kind of bring back some of that black trim to the Challenger as well as use it on some of my other projects. So I will put a link in the description for the black trim restoration kit, the headlight kit, and some of the other stuff that we used. I think there was a few things that we did there that are coming out soon, but I don't think they've been released. I'm gonna end the video here. I appreciate Serico for bringing me out, showing me all their products, teaching me how to use their coatings and all of that. I mean, it was very, very informative and I really have been wanting to use all of their products for a very long time. I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.